Hi and welcome to my office. Over the past 30 odd years I've been studying birds nesting and animals breeding within this reserve. birds nest there are different plants shrubs and trees that flower at the same time so they mark that event first birds that usually breed in the reserve are the ground thrushes now as they start to, their chicks start to hatch you can be guaranteed that the silver wattle will be in full bloom that also announces the breeding season for possums and my passion, the Agile Antichinus. So it's something I've noted because of watching these birds nesting and these other animals go about breeding, that I've observed this. Now sometimes the seasons shift. Get a drier year, things start a lot earlier. Usually no more than four maybe five weeks. I've seen this quite a few times over the years. We've had some really dry years. But this year, a colder winter, we also had a very dry winter as well. Not particularly out of whack with other years that I've seen, but for some reason, things, birds, flowers have all started much later in the season. So take the silver wattle. It flowered right on August. That's a couple of weeks late on a normal, what I would class as a normal season. No biggie, that's nothing out of the ordinary you wouldn't think. There's four breeding pairs of the ground thrush in this reserve and they're always the first to breed. They weren't nesting. That was quite odd. So I kept my eyes out, but I never come across any nests. Some of the other birds started pretty much on cue, but those ground thrushes never come across them. So I thought maybe I've just missed them. Then in the very start of November, I come across a pair that I usually see in this little area here about 50 metres away from us now, start to build a nest. That's, that's months out of when they normally are finishing. So probably a month out of uh, when they would normally finish up, completely finished. There they are, building a nest. That is so far out, it's just unbelievable because that brings you into end of December first week in January before the chicks would probably fly them out of the nest and it just doesn't make sense anyway okay <laughs> we just accept this we see them nesting and breeding well out of their season I haven't seen grey fantails nest in this reserve this year very odd there's usually lots of them you could probably get t up to 10 breeding pairs in the reserve I only, there's only a few birds in the reserve as a whole, even right up to now. Never found any nests. It was so odd. I kept my eyes out and I haven't seen any. We are now three months out of their normal breeding season. Now, this time of year, January, you can get the roofless fantail coming into the reserve, but they normally don't start nesting until February, mid-February, maybe even a little bit later. They're in the reserve, flying around, they've paired up, they're not nesting just yet, as per usual. But I come across this nest here. But there's something very odd about this nest. I, it's a grey fantail's nest, it's not a rufous fantail's nest, in the design. 
Roofless fantails are a lot thicker and they have a very short tail just on the nest. That whispery bit at the bottom, I call it a tail. And that's very long, that's a little unusual for Rufus Fanta. I thought, well, maybe they've just the odd pair, they uh, make it a little different. But I've been hanging around this area, just over there is where I've been in my last two videos, sitting at the creek watching birds bathing. There's been a pair of grey fantails over there and a pair of roofless fantails as well, coming down for a drink, a bit of a bath. But none of them are coming over to this nest. I kept my eye out and finally I saw something fly onto there and I thought it was the roofless fanta. I thought, okay, that's what it is. Just before I come walking past and there's a grey fanta sitting on the nest. We are three months out. Three months out of when they finish breeding. This for me is quite a significant thing to have happen. It's weird. And birds do weird things, I know. But it's so much out of whack. So what happens here, uh, yeah, I'm going to be studying this pair for a while. I want to see whether they actually go full term. Because it might work for them a bit better. The honey eaters are starting to drop off now and they're the ones that usually wreck nests for the grey fantails. So who knows? But it's very odd. I'm going to study them see what happens. The agile antichinists are in full numbers at the minute. There's lots of juveniles floating around and they're hungry. All I have to do is climb up here, go down and they've got that nest. So it'd be interesting. Just thought I'd share this with you. It's something very unusual, very odd, way out, way out of whack from when they would be finishing. But there you go. This is birds. I've seen some amazing things over the years. I've had golden whistlers nesting. Started to film them. And all of a sudden, chicks hatch. Getting plenty of action. Then a yellow robin flies past, flies back, feeds the chicks and off it goes over to its own nest about five metres away. It's just things like this that just pop up in this reserve. Uh, and it's amazing. So the more time you spend out in your local reserve, the more you're going to learn. <laughs> so that, that's all I've got for today. Just thought I'd share this with you. Something a bit, well, I think it's spectacular, actually. I think it's quite amazing. Uh, so at least I can film them nesting, study them, see how they go. That's all I've got for you today. If you'd like to subscribe, click on the subscription button down below and you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And there's a little bell next to, when you subscribe, a little bell next to it as well. Click on that and that will give you the notification. You'll get an email when I do stuff. So there you go. Now, if you'd like to go and have a look at my channel, look at all the things I've been doing over the years, click on my icon down below. There's over 70 videos to choose from. Must be something there of interest to you. From talking about photography stuff, birds in flight, flash photography, camera equipment, and all that. And there's always an aeroplane flying over when I'm trying to talk. So just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife. Now next week, next Friday, I'm heading back to Hall's Gap. I'm gonna have a second go at getting an awesome shot should be lots of dust in the air, so I should get a lot of colour if I can get some nice broken up clouds for a landscape shot. Now I'm crap at landscaping as far as picking out a really good composition, but I'm practicing and I'm trying to get better. So I'll see ya next week at the Grampians. Bye.